Hello you ranty pitchfords, Jim Sterling here and this is Battle Born, this is from Gearbox Software, uh, a lot of people are calling it basically uh, Borderlands meets a mobber, one of their mobber games that the kids love to play, uh, I... I'm, I'm intimidated by that genre of game, and as such, um, didn't pay too much attention to uh, Battleborn or Overwatch because of the uh, the associations people have been making. Um, and I have been playing both of them right now. I've been playing um, this and the, the beta of Overwatch, and really enjoying what I've been playing, actually. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm quite pleased with, with this kind of stuff. So, this is footage that I've pre-recorded. As I'm sure you can tell already, uh, this is footage of really my early stuff with the game. All of this stuff is, uh, I mean, this was, I think, maybe my second match ever um, playing as Marquis, 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 Marquis. Uh, one of those pronunciations, I think. It is a sniper robot with a German accent and an owl what lives in his hat. So, this is me sort of getting to grips with that character and how he plays. There's whole ton of characters, as is the way, uh, each of uh, which has their own powers and abilities and fighting styles. Very varied, um, very pleasantly so. Uh, every character has their own role on the battlefield, as it, as it was. So yeah, here I am with this character just sniping away. Got a, a regular pistol and the long range uh, gun there. And did I mention the owl? Yeah, it's got a robot owl that lives in his bowler hat, so that's good. I really like the character designs of this uh, game, actually. They're, they're very varied, very di wildly different character designs, and yet um, consistent I, I, is, is the word, the important word. Um, that's very important, very important to do. A lot of games don't realise that, especially ones that use pre-built assets. Of course, it's hard for them to get any consistency going. But to get this this game, which has sort of more reasonable humanoid, more quote unquote serious looking characters alongside big demon things and robots and mushroom people and what have I died there? That was bad for me. Um, to get everything still looking very, it's a very strong art style. Um, as has Overwatch, which I'll have a video of probably tomorrow from the beta, which I started playing that for the first time last night. And I don't want to just spend this video talking about um, Overwatch, but I, I do really like Overwatch. And I, I really quite like this one. Uh, apparently, this game is supposed to be shit. I think, I think that's the at least what people are telling me on uh, Twitter and, and the social medias whenever I talk about Battleborn. Um, I don't see it. I'm trying to work out what it is, because no one's told me why they think it's shit. No one's actually... Uh, that, that's before I realised you could just walk over the crystals. I thought you had to slap them or something. Um, but anyway, no one's actually told me why they think Battleborn's crap. Um, I'm trying to work out, like, is it because there's going to be this inevitable rivalry between it and Overwatch? Where people have decided they prefer Overwatch and so they've got to drag this one down to elevate the other. Uh, is it just because it's Gearbox and obviously Randy Pitchford has his uh, reputation, a well-deserved reputation? And I know actually a few people have specifically brought that up, is uh, their, their distrust for Gearbox. Uh, but it is worth noting that, at least in my estimation and my experience, that outside of the uh, whole Aliens thing... Um, Gearbox is all right. I, I, I mean, I like Borderlands. Um, even the later ones I thought were all right, even if they weren't spectacular. Um, you know, the pre-sequel was pretty good and, and everything. Um, so, the, you know, they have they are per, per, perhaps you could call them a hit and miss studio. And they've had a really big fucking miss uh, that, that took a lot of attention. But, I mean, this one I would say is definitely a hit. And, you know, I'm not going to... I did have one person ask me if I'm going to t take their past behaviour into account when talking about this, but, you know, any grudge I may have for Gearbox extends as far as their treatment of, of aliens as a thing. Um, I, try and, I try and maintain some sort of level of professionalism uh, as, about as much as I'm fucking capable of and take each game on its own merit. I mean, hell, you've seen that with uh, even certain studios that really have it in for me. I've tried to be... I've tried to acknowledge when they've done some good, you know? And, and yeah, I, I really am enjoying this. I have no fucking idea what's going on. 
and that was my first impression of the whole thing, was I have no fucking idea what's going on, but I'm having fun, so it must be good, I guess, because, I mean, I, I would say that's the mark of a, of a promising game, where you can't even understand it, and yet you're not having a bad time because of it. You know, that, that could be said of, say, one's first ever experience with a Souls game. <laughs> um, yeah, this game is pretty much the Dark Souls of first person shooting. <laughs> I couldn't finish that sentence. <laughs> oh, God. I'll stop doing the whole Dark Souls of thing uh, when it stops being funny. The trouble is, is um, a lot of people do it unironically. There's so much Souls-like, and oh, this is the Dark Souls of puzzle platformers, this is the Dark Souls of, of, you know, wiping the end of your dick after you've jizzed out the end of it. But, um, I find it funny. I find it funny. As you can see, characters are not um, well balanced for certain situations, you know. There was very little chance that my sniper dude was going to survive up close and personal with the, uh, the edgy-looking teenager with the big robot demon monster thing hanging off its shoulders, you know. So there you go. But of course every character contextually has their use and, and you know, I think it's at least so far it seems pretty well but that was me just looking at my feet. The run animations from the character's perspective, I've not gotten sick of those. But yeah, yeah, I mean obviously I need a lot more time with the game. I've been with it, um, you know, a good few hours so far. Uh, at the time of talking, but I do need some more time with it. Um, you can just walk over those crystals again, as I've said. Um, but so far, I feel like it, everything's decently balanced enough. You know, I've yet to play a dud character. There are characters I'm not good at. Uh, that one, the other one that you just saw, I think, I think she's voiced by Ashley Birch. Uh, she's got four arms and a witchy poo hat. And I'm not good with her at all. Um, but Marquise, I seem to be Marquise, Marquis, Marqua, Marquau, Marquau. I'm gonna call him Marquau. I seem to be doing all right with him. Like I said, this is my first time playing it as him, and I think I put in a at least a semi-respectable performance. Give me that much. Come on. You know, I know everyone uh, says I suck at games, and they're not entirely wrong. But I feel like I'm I'm holding my own for someone who. Uh, really hasn't had the time to play this as much as I want to yet. Um, I intend to do a review of it, of course, but I want to get a, a, at least a good more few hours under my belt before I put up a written review on the old gymquisition.com there. So, yeah. But but early impressions, or gym impressions, so far, liking it. Really, really liking it. And, um, you know, I'm not saying that to diminish from Overwatch, which uh, I played for the first time last night and really love as well. And ultimately, I feel like this... We need more games like this. Brightly coloured fucking games that are just fun and, like, anarchic and don't take themselves seriously. Playing this and Overwatch at the same time has been a breath of fucking fresh air lately. From all the grim, miserable fucking shit, you know? All the games that are just, I am angry because my wife slash mother slash sister slash brother slash father got killed by some dudes. Uh, this is just fun. And there's some good, uh, there's actually some good comedy here. It's very typical Gearbox comedy. So if you don't like that sort of shit, then you're not going to like this. But um, there's a character I, I haven't unlocked yet, but I, I, I started playing their mission solo and then realised that, fuck, no, I need to go up for, for the actual story missions, because uh, they're not that well balanced. But um, I'm trying to unlock a character called Isaac at the moment, who is basically like my friend and former colleague Jonathan Holmes, um, except a big metal robot with a skull inside its tank-like shell that looks really sort of, you know, scary dairy but is um, really nice and friendly while talking about kicking people in the throat. So I'm very charmed by that. I'm charmed by pretty much all the characters that I've seen so far. Um, but there are a few of them. A few of them are a bit overacted and annoying. Um, but most of them, most of them seem quite affable. Quite affable, as it were. So yeah, that's... 
that's my thoughts on Battleborn. See you next time. Please like and subscribe. I actually have a lot more footage to go. Way more footage to go. And I exhausted all of my main talking points. I was like, you know what? I'm going to spend some time talking about uh, how we need more games like this. I'm going to spend a little time talking about the negative reaction it's gotten from people. My own thoughts on it. And how I feel the character balance is. But I kind of got through all that in 10 minutes, didn't I? So now we're just watching a lot of Battleborn. Um, after this match, I've, I've got... Basically, I take you through three characters. Three of the characters that I um, at least feel somewhat comfortable with. And we'll end with um, my current favourite character at, of the moment. So that'll be... That's something to look forward to, isn't it? So as you can see, there is uh, just a ton going on. It's one of those games where... Um, if you're not sure what to do, just look at where all the explosions are and just blindly fire into it, yelling and screaming. And you might do okay. That's carried me through a lot of the game thus far. Is just uh, where, wherever I see too many colours happening at once, just fire my own colourful things into it and uh, see where that leads. So yeah, this is a melee character. This is an attacker called Wrath. Uh, pretty much... Uh, at least from uh, my anecdotal experience, pretty much everyone goes for this guy first. Uh, he is normally the first one kept, uh, people snap up. He's very easy to use, very powerful, um, very simple concept. Run at things and slash and slash and slash. You can't really get much more simple than that. Um, and he's fun. He's fun. Um, couldn't get over there, tried to jump it. Uh, Wrath, one of their, their upgrades. Um, that you get in the game um, that you can choose to have a double jump which would help get over there but I don't have that right now because I only just started playing the game so yeah as you can see really not a lot of thought needs to go into Wrath here run around and slice things to bits and, and sometimes get munched yourself like I did there not a great showing not a great showing I'll be the first to admit that I'm the first to admit that but there you go. What can you what can you do? Fuck all. That's what you can do. The answer is fuck all. That's Isaac right there, the gold thing with the blue skull man. Um I wanna unlock and try him out, because he seems he seems like a fun chap. I like Wrath. My one problem with Wrath as a character, and this is purely as a character, not from a gameplay standpoint or anything, I find him very dissonant. Uh, not for any narrative reasons, but because Wrath looks, if you look at his face, um, you know, maybe maybe look up a high-res glossy PNG of Wrath on Google Image Search right now so that you know what I'm talking about. But, um, I say this is my first time playing with Wrath, so I take a bit of time uh, looking through their upgrade choices. Um, but yeah, look up a, a high-quality high pung of Wrath and look at his face... And tell me that you don't expect the monarch's voice to come out of that. Don't tell me you don't expect Jackson Public to be voicing him. The problem with Wrath is when you hear him, he sounds like fucking Lou Boo. It's all I have blades and your honor and ha 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 ha. I am going to cut you up. When you, he should be going, what do you mean he's not gay? He's in Depeche Mode. And you don't get that. You don't get the monarch, which upsets me. I feel like Jackson Public would be great for this game. But there you go. I feel like I should voice a character in this game. I'm a critically acclaimed voice actor, don't you know? But the idea of... <laughs> the idea of Gearbox ever calling me up to work with me a slim to none. Um, God, can you imagine that? You know what? I've not, I've not directly spoken to Randy Pitchford um, since Aliens Colonial Marine, since the week. The launch week of Aliens Colonial Marines. Um, he blocked me on Twitter uh, shortly thereafter when I asked him a, a question. I forget what the question was. Um, it wasn't really rude especially. It was He said something. He was being very churlish on Twitter as he often is. Uh, regarding the critical reception and basically showing off um, and retweeting the people who, are pra who were praising the game. Uh, and I asked him some direct question about it and got blocked shortly thereafter. And then ever since then, you know, when, when he's pressed on the issue of Colonial Marines, he talks about um, certain, certain journalists who have it out for him 
and name check certain um, historical incidences that happened with his um, spin on, on the situation. And it's clear he's talking about me, but he won't, won't ever address me by name. Uh, but he references things that I've actually said and done while only saying, this journalist. Um, so there you go. And the, the real shame of it is, is I did always like Randy Pishford. He's a charismatic man. You know, very, very charismatic, actually. And I do believe that the guy isn't pure cynicism. I believe he does have a passion for what he does. He just, I don't know. I mean, I get his hands are tight. As a CEO, he can't just turn around and say, yeah, aliens, colonial marines were shit. But the way he talks, like, one... Stop trying to jump over there, Jimmy, you fucking fool. Um, I don't know. Anyway, I, I won't harp on on it, but, but I, I think it's a shame because I've you know, I met him a few times and I always got on with the guy. And I think he's a snappy dresser. But... You know, it is what it is. I realise he can't ever admit that Colonial Marines was shit, and he does seem to genuinely believe it's brilliant. But, I don't know. Ended up not talking to a few people at Gearbox after that. That's sad. I used to get on with, um, what's his face, Mikey Newman. Um, got on with him, like, famously. Really, really got on with him. But, never spoke to him since then. He unfollowed me on Twitter shortly thereafter. Which, it is what it is, you know. I can't let uh, any any um, fondness I may have for someone at a studio get in the way of what I think of the game if, if I feel like they've peddled shit. So, but I'm glad this one's good. I'm glad that Battleborn, at least so far, is good. Um, you know, I've not... I've, I've got some some issues with it. You know, I can talk about those. Um, matchmaking is not brilliant. At least, again, in my experience so far, it, it's taken me quite a while to get into matches sometimes. And I don't think it's through want of people playing. There seem to be plenty of people playing. The servers seem to be quite hopping. But matchmaking can take a heck of a long time. And, you know, that's true of trying to play the story missions as well as everything else. You know, even if you play solo, you've got to wait a while while the server prepares a game for you, which is a bit pants. Um, so there's that. Um, the whole uh, story mode entirely is a bit... The missions are not brilliant, and they're really not good to play on your own. And if you play them with with partners if you play co-op uh, you have to vote on which story mission you want it's not like you could pick a story mission first and then see who's playing it or just start it and have people drop in um, you know you have to vote for something so if I want to for instance finally get some co-op partners for the algorithm so that I can unlock Isaac um, I've got to hope everyone else wants to as well and that didn't happen last night uh, where instead they voted for something else instead of the mission I wanted and I had to just Kind of suck it up, Chungus. So, that's a shame. But, but the Versus stuff is alright. The, the the only Versus footage I took here um, was basically base capturing. You know, we're capturing these, these collectors uh, to score points. Which is, you know, a, a more traditional gameplay mode. There's another one that's a bit more mobber-like. And a third mode that I haven't played yet at the time of talking. Um, but I kind of stuck with this for the moment just because it was... It's simple. It's simple. That was me trying to fight that dude from Under the Rock. The, the actual literal rock, not, not Dwayne Johnson, who had a cameo in The Mummy Returns. I mean, it was more or less a cameo, considering how little he was in it. Uh, would get his own spin-off film with The Scorpion King, which, as I said in a video last night, I'm yet to watch, but I'm, I might get around to watching it, and I fell off the thing. So that was a shame. A. Trying to uh, use my, my snazzy new spin move, and I fucked it up. So I had to run back round. And they were gone. Oh no, no, there they are. Hello! Finish what we started, mate. Kablooey Kasmak. It's good. Satisfying. So yeah, everyone, everyone likes to play as Wrath, but I just wish he sounded like the Monarch. What can you do? What can you do? I didn't make the game. 
It's not my fault, even. That was terrible. That was a terrible uh, miss of an attack there. Oh, well. So much to do as well. It's, um... It's a good problem to have. There are just so many fucking interesting and fun games that are out at the moment that I'm trying to at least get some coverage done um, of. Uh, I, I mentioned in a, an earlier video that I've still got a um, review uh, Severed, the PS Vita game, that's kind of uh, Wizardry meets Infinity Blade, and that's a lot of fun. Um, I'm really uh, far into it, probably good enough to do a review, but I want to play a bit more of it first. Um, I feel like I'm, I'm, I might be able to beat it soon, but I'm not exactly sure how far into it I am. Um, but, but really enjoyed that game. Uh, Overwatch, I want to spend some more time with that beta if I can find the time this weekend. Um, because I'm loving what I'm playing so far of that. Um, I also want to call that game... Um, Please kiss me, watch, because every character is handsome as fuck, and I want to do deep kissing with everyone. Maybe not the monkey, maybe not Winston, because that would be weird. But definitely Roadhog. Defos. I like that Overwatch has Roadhog as a character. I always enjoy characters that I could reasonably cosplay as. Until then, it's been what? The Kingpin. Which, with my new hair, I can pull off a bit better. The Kingpin, or Forrest Kaysen from Deadly Premonition. That's about it. That's about it. Um, but Overwatch gives me opportunities like that. Um, I was asked last night what my favourite Overwatch character is, and that would be um, Mercy, so far. Not only um, a healer character, and I'm, I'm fond of healers, as you'll find out later in this video. Fond of healers, I like support characters. Um, you know, I'm not the best one-on-one -on -one combat guy. We won that match. Not the, the best one-on-one -on -one combat dude, uh, but I do like... Um, I like where I can... Uh, a character that gives me the opportunity to do something else. Such as Miko, which is this character here. It's a big mushroom, which already ranks them pretty high on my uh, list of characters that I'd like to play as and as you can see they're a healer uh, so I've been spending most of my time in Battleborn as Miko um, there, there is another healer character that I'm uh, going to work on unlocking and I want to see how she plays but Miko here is a, a sentient mushroom alien thing that throws um, kunai is that the, the pronunciation of it? I'm sorry if I messed that up and this is a bit of the cooperative story mode. So it's uh, up to, I think, five players, if I remember correctly. And it's just a big mess of a fucking <laughs> mode. It's just tons of fucking enemies. And again, you throw them at the... Wherever the colours and the flashes are happening. Um, what was I saying before now? I think I was talking about... Oh yeah, Mercy and Overwatch. Well, I'll talk more about them, you know, those characters in the Overwatch video. But fun fact, Mercy is the name of my um, one of my favourite D&D characters I ever did uh, for D&D. Mercy the Brigand in Kingdoms of Kalamar. So, it's another reason why I like her as a character. But anyway, back to back and born. This is Miko. Miko deals with uh, poison damage, which I've always been fascinated by that in games. I find poison as a damage type always, always interesting. I like the idea of set it and forget it style damage. But, but video games often struggle to do poison right in games. It's normally very weak because it's hard to do, isn't it? Like, if you can just poison someone and let the damage do the rest, you can be very overpowered. And unfortunately, a lot of video games uh, answer that by being under, like making it underpowered. Um, but I feel, I'm, so far I've not felt too much of that with Miko. But anyway, the damage they deal... And I say they because they're a kind of weird hive mind collective thing, which I, I always find that interesting, like your venom and all this stuff, people referring to themselves as we. It's always a fun little uh, character gimmick. Oh. Anyway, um, Samika does the poisons and the healings, and they've got a, a poison spore, that's the word, I just threw it there. That detonates on impact and can slow, or if you upgrade it a certain way, you can stun enemies with it. And that deals damage if they're in that circle of, of 
thing. Fell off the side. That was bad. It's a bad, actually badly located boss encounter. It starts with the big boss on the stairs and just a big pitfall that you can fall into. Um, so actually, I tried to maneuver around it and get up the stairs, but it's just tough to do. Um, so yeah, you've got your poison spore, the kunais, the, the blades that you throw, they deal poison as well. And you've got a healing beam. You got a self heal, uh, which you can also upgrade to heal others around you if you so choose. And your your ultimate, uh, as it were, is called and I fucking love the name of it, the fungus among us. Um, I love that. Word. I love that. I love that. It's fun, and that basically puts a big area of effect heal down. And you can also upgrade that if you so choose to also add an area of effect damage to your opponents. So that's good. The story missions go on for basically ages, and you know my my uh, PS4 can give me up to 15 minutes of footage. So basically, you you got a sub boss and a boss encounter out of this. This is the last boss of this particular mis mi uh, mission, the old Sentinel. It's just a lot of firing at it until it goes away. You can really see the 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 Borderlands comparisons in the the co-op in the story mode, uh, more than anywhere else. I mean, they've even got the same obje objective marker, more or less. And the combat is uh, somewhat the same, although it's it's more mob-heavy and, and everything. I'm hungry. Just realized that. I'm, what is it? It's 10.30 a.m. today. I haven't eaten since I was six yesterday. As a fat man, I don't often talk about food because then people know. Because then they look at you and they, you're fat. I knew you. I knew you eat food. You, f you can't fool us, you prick. Um, anyway, got to shoot these things to stop it from healing. That's a puzzle part of the fight. I shouldn't have included this much of this this boss fight because it really, really speaks for itself. Oh, well. Firing a lot of things. It's mostly attrition at this point. The bosses are more or less attrition. You know, there's there's a whole bunch of you, and so long as you uh, are able to keep reviving each other, that's if you do get taken out, then. Then you're fine. I try and do my best to balance the healing and the attacking. You know, threw a fungus among them there. Big old mushroom. Big old juicy mushroom. Sexy mushroom. Anyway, it's wandering off to do more healing. The fucking prick. There it goes. Bang, 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 bang. It's a big old robot monster thing. That's what that is. Hurry up. I want it. Why didn't we kill this quicker? Why didn't we kill this quicker? So that I'm not just sat here thinking about making myself some toast. I think that's what I'll do. Have some toast. Could go to the shops, but I don't know if I can be fucked to go to the shops. No one there. Bread just sitting in the kitchen doing nothing. Ready to be toasted up. Roasty toasty fun times. I don't know. Love my uh, Love my new short hair. It's the shortest I've ever had it. I'll uh, probably go hatless on the next gym position to uh, give it a little fuzzy. Can you hear that? Can you hear me buzzing my hair? There you go. What else am I going to do with my day today? Saturday morning, and no one's around. Even Bartleby, he's at the pet hotel. So I've had no one to yell at or shout at or tell my ideas to. Not that I routinely shout at my dog. I mean, I just normally just make silly noises at the dog while he tilts his head at me, at me confused. But it's uh, it's amazing how uh, how he, how so used to the presence of a dog you get that uh, it feels really really weird when they're not there, even even briefly. You know, we're picking him up again tomorrow, but it's weird walking in the living room. And expecting to say, you know, oh, hey, puppy, hey, puppy dog. And he's not there. Sad. Sad for me. I'll see him again tomorrow. 
Miss my dog. But yeah, everyone's out this weekend. Got me other half out in uh, Dallas. The boy is uh, away. Has to myself. But there you go. You'd think I'd spend the whole time wanking, but even then, I don't. I don't feel like it. I don't feel like it. Not at the moment, so I'm not going to bother. Find something else to do. Maybe watch uh, the rest of the Mummy series of films. <laughs> I don't know. More Battleborn, more Overwatch. I've got some socialising planned this weekend. It's going to be a lot of fun, I think. Um, but anyway, this is Miko again in a versus situation. Um, I should have gotten more map variety, in honesty. I should have tried to get... There is more than just this map. <laughs> Uh, this one just keeps coming up though. This one keeps coming up on the rag. Got me a KO there. Smart. Threw in a little taunt. Why not? It needs more taunts. You can unlock, um, from my looking at character uh, upgrade things, as you play you can unlock two other taunts alongside their usual one, giving them three taunts. So you can only equip one of them. There's, there's bits of the D-pad going begging. I could have had more taunts. I like a variety of taunts in a game. It's one thing, that is one thing Overwatch definitely has over it, is you can do all, all tons of emoting and, and talking and communicating via the characters. They got a wheel to select it. Whereas here you've got one D-pad button. You can see I'm using a different skin as well, characters, the more you play them, of course, they rank up and they can unlock. That was a really bad throw of the spore. That was shine. Total fucking shine. I want to play, I'm going to need to try this character out, the one with the bow there. Another, uh, like Marquise, Marquois, Mar 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 Milky, like Milky the, like Milky the robot, um, seems to be one that requires a bit of finesse. But I'm curious to, to try her out. But yeah, so far I really like Miko because it. Uh, I just feel like it, there's there's always a bit of pressure off me to do killing when I'm healing. There's pressure for healing. I mean, to be a good healer, you've got to. You know, it's it's its own skill set. But fuck knows if I'm any good at it. You know, I do my best. You know, even if I do, I, th I think I forget. To throw the fungus among us when I unlock it here a lot, so that was that was bad. That was on me. But, you know, I'm trying to be a first responder here, trying to deal with it. One issue I have is it can be hard to like get a bead and keep a bead on someone to heal them, as you can see here. And the the heal beam often latches onto someone I'm not trying to heal. Uh, again, that is one thing Overwatch has over it. You know, in my experience playing with um, the healer there, playing with Mercy there. Uh, it's so much easier and clearer, you know, who needs healing and how to get to an ally and, and keep them healed just works better than, than in here. But that is not to say this is not fun and, and that I'm not having a, just a huge, another terrible throw of the sport, uh, having a ton of fun with it. I, I realised, I, I did know I was being shot in the back. Uh, my hope was I could at least score a KO. Uh, off of on, on on someone before getting killed, but it did not pan out that way. But yeah, I was well aware I was being shot in the back, and it was like, I know I'm going to die. Let's try and take someone down with me. It didn't pan out. I got an assist, but what can you do? What can you do? We will make well, them apart from get better and be better at the game, which maybe I will get. You don't know. You don't know. The funny thing is, is um, a lot of people don't ever get to see me be, be decent at games. I just, I'm terrible when I first start playing them. And of course, when you first start playing them is when you do a lot of YouTube stuff. Um, so, you know, you don't know that I ended up getting pretty decent at Battlefront. And pretty damn decent at Plants vs. Zombies, which is still one of my favourite competitive shooters this year. Um... When I get the practice in, I do pretty damn alright at a lot of these games, but you you will never get to see that. So, I might just start doing more, more of like what I did with Dark Souls, and just start doing a, more than one video. Get the practice in, and then show that I, I, I can at least 
contribute, if not be the best player in the world. You know, not that it matters that much, you know, I don't have a... The, the size of my theoretical penis is not attached to how well I am at a game, but, you know, it's nice to be good at something in a game. It's nice to... Nice to be useful in a game. So what I've always said about them. Um, it's always been my approach to competitive multiplayer is I may not... I'll, I'll never be the best at it. Just I don't want to be the worst at it. As long as I'm not the worst. So if I can at least hang around in the middle, I'm pretty happy. And I tend to, historically I tend to just sort of... I'm, I'm, a, I'm a consummate third placer in a lot of these games. Um, so there you go. But yeah, there's been so much, at least from my experience, I feel like lately there's been so much good multiplayer. Like, I've been more into competitive multiplayer shooters, especially, uh, lately, uh, ever since the tail end of last year, than I have been in a long, long time. Like, I got proper hooked on Battlefront, even if I thought it was a sad... Um, use of the license to keep that season pass going and all this shit. Um, you know, it shouldn't have been. It was. It was basically an early access game launched as a full title, and it was still good. It was really good, but it should have been great slash fucking brilliant. You know, I for as much as I've played it and loved it, I wanted to give Battlefront, you know, like a nine or something, but I gave it like a seven in the review because. It was so incomplete, and and right now I feel no desire to go back to it. Um, now that other shooters are out, because there's just you know waiting for more content to happen in it. But there you go. But yeah, yeah, so into it. Between that and then I spent weeks obsessively playing Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 2, which I still maintain was fucking excellent. And if they hadn't have introduced the microtransactions into it after launch. Uh, though they got an overshield, I had no fucking chance, matey boy. Um, if it hadn't been, oh no, I did all right. I did survive. Hooray! Um, oh boo! <laughs> um, yeah, if it hadn't been for my transactions, um, God Warfare 2 would have been uh, an easy contender for Game of the Year for the Gymquisition Awards. But I ain't never given a, I ain't never given a Gymquisition Award. Uh, at least as, as far as I'm concerned right now, to a game that uh, has fee-to-pay elements in it. I do believe this character here is voiced by Patrick Warburton, which is just fucking brilliant. Well, you get Patrick Warburton for him, no Jackson Public for Wrath. Would have been way better. Um, we are coming up towards the end of it now. So I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, I'm enjoying my time with this game a lot. I'm finding it very easy to play. Um, not, not when I say that, I don't mean I'm. I think the game itself is easy. When I say easy to play, I mean easy to turn on and just spend hours in it, and you know, just quit when you're satisfied and, and feel like you've had a really, uh, just a, a really valuable use of your entertainment time with it. Um, it is imminently playable in the same way that uh, games are. I don't know where I was going with that. I'm the fucking, I'm the worst commenter. Why do you watch these videos? Why are you on this channel? I'm terrible at what I do. I know it. I'm not hiding it. Anyway, stay tuned next for a sponsored video uh, where we will be giving you a guide to uh, Clash of Kings. We won't be doing that. That was a, that was a goof. Got stunned there. Terrible. Collector B lost. It's upsetting to me that that happened. Anyway. So yeah, if you are playing Battleborn, typically I'll be the mushroom one, trying to heal people and frequently not, because I'm shite. Nah, I'm worried. Okay, maybe, a bit. Then again, someone on Ask FM told me I was shit at video games, so that's me out of a job soon. Ha ha ha. Look at that big old mushroomy hand. Sexy, sexy mushroom. And that's that. That's that mission one. So yeah, that's Battleborn. Uh, I'm certainly enjoying it. And if you... Not to say that you're wrong or invalid or anything, but I'm genuinely curious as to why people may not like it. So if anyone's got any any criticism of it like that, I'm, I'm really interested to hear it. Uh, or if you do like it, let me know. Um, and all of that stuff. 
But other than that, we'll see you later with some more shit. Bye.